It's Tim with Red Mountain Air Conditioning and we're looking at a project that we just did. This is a residential application and it's a flat roof, but a flat roof is never flat. It's very uneven. So what we did was we built a stand for this unit that has adjustable height legs. So we can get that unit up in the air, which allows space for roof maintenance underneath. It gives us some good pitch for the drainage, so the drain will drain properly. And it also has vibration pads, isolation pads, uh, uh, between the stand and the unit. So we don't have the vibration that we usually have uh, with a flat roof especially on a single story home. Um, we put four by fours, treated lumber, underneath the stand so that it spreads the weight out on the roof and we have less of, an, uh, less of a probability that we will have a, uh, a roof leak due to the angle iron digging into the, uh, into the soft roof. There's a new electrical disconnect that's got fuse protection in it and new flexible conduit but the big difference between what we do and what any of our competitors do i've never seen anyone else do this is we get that unit up in the air um, this one's probably about 12 inches up in the air and so that allows they need to do roof coating they can get their hands in there if birds want to build nests or something in there you can get in there and clean them out Notice the old lumber. The old unit was just mounted on those old 4x4s. And we left them in place because we don't want to move them and mess up the roof coating. When it's time for them to have a roofer come and freshen up their roof coating, that roofer can remove those. But we uh, designed the length of this transition. I made that a little extra long so that the legs of our stand, or the feet of our stand, uh, would not land anywhere close to the old lumber and uh, so this is a system by the way their old system was only uh, about eight years old six or eight years old and it failed uh, because it didn't it didn't drain properly because it wasn't mounted high enough it was mounted on these four by fours and you just don't have enough pitch when you've got to run a drain all the way to the edge of the roof you don't have enough pitch on that drain and that drain clogs up water puddles up into the cabinet of the unit causes corrosion or accelerates the corrosion uh, that causes the development of a refrigerant leak so we replace a lot of package rooftop units on homes here in Phoenix uh, because of poor drainage and Again, it's the industry standard, mount them on 4x4s. So we're the only ones that I'm aware of. I, I, ne I never see a competitor putting them on a stand on a flat roof because it's hard to build a stand for a flat roof. But, you know, we came up with the idea of adjustable height legs years ago. And that is the only way you can build a stand on a roof that you can look at the contours of this roof very uneven it's a very uneven roof because of the foam so red mountain air conditioning my name is tim friedrich and uh, i'm the estimator so i design uh, basically the I, I write the specifications for the project so you know the sheet metal and the stand are all built uh, you know to to what i uh, require and uh we have a system here I think will last 15 to 20 years. I hope it will last 15 to 20 years. That's the goal.